The ancestors of the Elmont family are doomed to confront the power of evil incarnate, Dracula. In 1917, a countess sought to revive the long dead spirit of the vampire. Her name was Elizabeth Bartley. To revive him, she needed to travel all over Europe, enlisting help from all the powers of darkness. Two young vampire hunters, John Boris and Eric Lacard, set out to fulfill their destiny, push back the evil hordes, and drive the vampire back into his dark netherworld. The two ventured into the unknown, traveling from Romania to Greece, Italy, Germany, France, and finally England. They went up against gruesome hordes, dangerous traps, perilous terrain, magic, unbeknownst to this world, creatures from the depths of hell, and even death himself. But Morris and the guard remained valiant and will through throughout their quest, and were able to bring an end to the wretched Barley. However, even her death did not prevent the Hellish Count's resurrection. And so John and Eric duel Dracula and his right-hand Dorothy Santis in one final endeavor to bring an end to his tyranny. Drawing their greatest power, the two were able to destroy the demonic abomination and bring an end to their journey. The dawn's light shed and Castle Prospera crumbled into the ground. Eric, leaving behind his family spirit, disappeared from the world to tackle even greater obstacles while John, abusing the power of the Belmonts, went passed on, and with it, his legacy. However, it was only the beginning of the burdens their families had to carry. Hey everybody, this is Infinite Trials here, saying welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. I hope you guys enjoyed that little introduction sequence I got going there for y'all. I just figured, you know what, I want to kind of try and do some new things with this LP, mainly having some backstory to this game, because this is, no, because this is a, in fact a uh, sequel to the Sega Genesis classic Castlevania Bloodlines, and also, this game happens to be one of my personal favorite for the Nintendo DS. But because this uh, background sound is probably killing yours, I figured let's just get started with the game. So, yeah, so, in any case, um, where was I going with this? I don't know. It's like game. Let's just start a new game, eh? So, new game. Uh, I ignore that for later. Normal mode, because I don't want to get my butt kicked on hard. And I'll get into more detail about those other two settings for now, but just, just, just ignore that. Just ignore that for now, but in any case, let's get a new file going here. So, what will my name be? Uh, let's just go with IT, just because, you know, that's just how my name is referenced, except that, hold on, hold on, whoop. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. I, actually, wait, are there any periods? There are no periods. Okay, never mind, I'll just do IT, or IT, IT, yeah, derp a derp. Loud thud outside my house. Okay, whatever. Okay. And, uh, oh yeah, I gotta, gotta make a little symbol here, whatever, I'll just... Gotta use the touch screen, sorry if my mouse appears here, that's gonna be the only time you're gonna be seeing the touch screen during this LP, or doing touch screen based material during this, so don't worry about it, I'm gonna make a beautiful little art right here, uh... Derp. Derp, 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 derp. Okay, I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm such an artistic fellow, guys. Okay, now then. 
Actually, wait, let me just erase this. No, no, no. There we go. Oh yeah, there's my symbol. Okay, now then. That's just so you can recognize your file better. But now then. 1944. The world is in chaos. The Second World War has claimed millions of lives, leveled cities, destroyed nations. The souls of the war's dead blanket, the planet lost, hurt, and angry. Their anguish summons an accursed castle of legend. It has many times throughout the city. Oh, boy, I am butchering this speech impediment. I don't really care, though, too much. In any case, Dracula's castle. Yeah, that's pretty much what you all you gotta know about this, because as we all know in Castlevania games, or for those of you who don't know, Dracula Castle appears up to the hero to stop him. Now, who is this fine fellow here? He looks quite fat. That whip, there's no mistaking it. You're Jonathan Boris. You lie, and you are. Ah, forgive me, I'm Vincent Doran. By order of the church, I've been awaiting you. To think that the laster of the legendary vampire killer would come here. A blessing indeed. Too bad he can't actually use it. Charlotte, can't you pretend to play along for once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. What? What are you saying? That whip is a fake, then? It's true, I can't use the vampire killer. This whip wasn't actually passed down through my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula. And that family is related to the Morris family by blood. Been doing your research, huh? Unfortunately, the fact is, we're not the true successors. No problem, though. I've won every battle till now without the whip. Not one loss. Lucky you have me to help you. Yes, I was wondering about that. And you are? Excuse me if you're from the church, then remember this. I'm Charlotte Allin. Charlotte. I've heard that name before. Charlotte. Oh! You must be the great magicians everyone been talking about. <laughs> great, you say. Unbelievable to think that she was a mere child. <clears throat> I mean such a young, lovely lady. You're that child? You can call me L-O-V-E-L-Y. Uh, so, anyway, Vincent, you had some business with me? <laughs> I love that little face that guy going right there. Oh, yes, yes, I do. I've been ordered to assist you in your quest. I've brought potions with me, but, well... Well, what? It's a matter of economics. You want us to pay you, right? Well, if you insist. Sure, no problem. I think we can take care of that. Couldn't care less. But more importantly, the castle. Is that really Dracula's castle? No one has seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it is indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it. The castle is this pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine it's anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I studied in the books. Sounds like fun. Come on, third get going then, eh, Charlotte? Right with you. Be, be careful. I'll search for a safe place. I'll meet you inside. Godspeed. Okay, day. Now we are full control of Jonathan Morris, son of John Morris from either. Sorry about that. Uh, just some interruptions going on right there. Any case, control of Jonathan Morris now. And we're in the entrance to the castle. Awesome sauce. Um, so pretty much L is to back dash, B is jump, A, Y is attack. Uh, and you can't really do anything with the other two buttons just yet, but look out for that. So the first thing you want to pick up here is grab this cube here, switch main character with X, that's what the change cube does, so we can now do this. Yeah, so now you can change between Charlotte and Jonathan now on the fly whenever you wish. And then here you got this little thing called the call cube. And you'll just, sorry, press A to call your partner, and boom, now you have some extra weight and knock it down. Now remember these two commands for later, because these are going to be very essential in progressing throughout the majority of the game. And I'm just going to play Jonathan for now, because, well, Charlotte kind of sucks at the moment. But don't worry, they're going to get pretty good, decently enough later on, I suppose. 
But now then, transversing this area of sorts, we're gonna jump along here, kill that little zombie feller, and then grab this item, which is known as the Tome of Arms. A very good initial item for Charlotte. A little upright attack by a little sliver, but not too, too much. But hey, any attack is good. I, am I right or am I right? Any case, now short sword here, a good weapon for Jonathan. I'm actually gonna equip that now. Now, this is one game that borrows from a. Uh, the uh, Symphony of the Night series and more of the other like handheld series, which is pretty much uh, it's similar to a style in Metroid, in which case you don't really go through like levels per se. You more so go through uh, like one big castle adventure area. It's more of like a collectathon adventure with RPG elements. Not really uh, a jump platform to platformer like uh, Bloodlines was. But uh, oh wait, shoot! I'm gonna switch back to Jonathan there. But now then, going on through here into this room, we're just gonna smash down some more rocks right there, crack that down right there. Holy crap, that thing is huge! Okay, okay, now we just gotta keep moving here. Just don't stop, just keep breaking the rocks. Just, just move, just move, just move. Just be smart, just, just keep moving. Just keep moving, just keep moving. Just like the... Oh boy, okay, yeah, just keep breaking it. Just like in, uh, what is it called, um... No, thank you. Okay. Just like in uh, Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. I mean, okay, yeah, whatever, but that guy is dangerous. Remember him for later, because he will be coming back. Spoilers, I suppose. But now we've got something called a uh, ability here, which is pretty much like uh, the sub-weapons in the, uh, any other Castlevania game. Press Y up here, and then you press Y, and you'll do a special attack here. At the cost of some of your MP, though, but or if you're playing some of the older games, hearts, but... That's aside the point. Now, unfortunately, though, Jonathan uses something called skills, whereas Charlotte uses something called spells. Unfortunately, though, we don't have any spells for Charlotte just yet, so we're just gonna have to hold off until then, but fret not. Okay, wait cube. Okay, that will pretty much allow us to just drop our, uh, our ally right here, have him stay there. That will uh, we'll be able to push this little um, platform statue thing in the jagger right there and then. Wait a little bit. And then once we have our enough leeway, we can just automatically switch to Jonathan, jump over here, and bada bing, bada boom, we've actually got another uh, our first spell for Charlotte right there like that. Okay, I thought that was going to take me a lot longer, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, whatever. Now I could have complained too, too much, but in any case, moving right along, as my old saxophone teacher once said to me, or used to say to me, uh, I'm just going to keep breaking that. Now then, oh, something else I meant to bring up before uh, we continue onward, well, or as I'm continuing onward, I suppose. If you let your partner, um, who you're not controlling out at the moment, get hit, it'll more so be damage to your MP and not your HP, which can be both good and bad. Good in the sense that you don't have to worry about losing your health, but bad in the sense that you won't be able to perform special magical attacks, which, in my opinion, become very, very essential, especially near the end of the game. But, as you can see, we just got a head guard there, good piece of equipment for Jonathan, nice headpiece there, improves our defense, and then we're just gonna go in here, and pretty much these rooms here are known as warp rooms. Once we've activated another one of these, we can pretty much jump from any other point that has this type of room, which is the warp point, and then jump to the next part of the castle, which has another warp point. That made no sense, but I hope it did. At least to me. Whatever. You you know what it is. Standard warp points in video games. It's not like... It's like first grade science. Come on. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying. That hope. That hope. But now they're moving along and... Huh? Something's here? But what could it be? Find out next time on Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. This is Infinite Trials here saying peace out, yo. Have a good one, and rate, comment, subscribe. I really need to get back in the swing of LPs, don't I? <laughs> Whoopsie daisy.